today we'll just um, begin when you're ready in child's pose. So it's walking out your palms, your knees can be wide or together, and then just rest your forehead down on your mat. And again, if that forehead doesn't come all the way down, it's nice to stack a block or blanket underneath so we're lining up that spine. And then just walk your palms out when you're ready and just begin to draw on a breath for a morning check-in. Spread your fingers nice and wide and just begin to melt your shoulders down. Feel that pressure on the crown of the forehead. And start to deepen that breath. So that nice Ujjayi breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Or the nose, whatever you prefer. So connecting deep with that prana, that breath or life force. And then drawing out the breath, texturizing the breath in the back of the throat. And we'll hold here for about five to 10 breaths and just plant those seeds of intention. So think about what you want versus what you don't want today. Feel that breath melt away any tension in the body, any parts of the body that are speaking to you. So we're acknowledging those messages that we might not notice throughout our day. So this just gives us the opportunity to observe and then shift and just take your time with that shift. So some things don't happen right away, those transformations. So just be patient with that shift. And start to deepen your breath a little bit more. So send that breath to points of origin in your body you need it most. Sit those hips back a little bit deeper. And at the top of the next inhale, we'll walk your palms to the right hand side. Maybe stack the left palm on top of the right or leave that left palm right beside the right palm and just stretch the left side of your body. Draw on your breath nice and deep so we're unraveling, moving energy with your breath, just warming up those muscles, giving us the opportunity to observe in these longer holds. So take two to three more breaths here. Good, softening the face and the eyes. And on the top of the next inhale, walk your palms back to center. Take one full inhale, one full exhale. Completely empty your lungs and then walk the palms to the left-hand side. So notice the difference between the right and the left. Notice how the right side feels. Just opening up the intercostal muscles. Nice and deep and spacious. Good, take two to three more breaths on this side. Good, and then the next inhale, walk your palms back to center, take one full inhale, one full exhale. Completely empty out the lungs and then pull up to all fours, stack your knees directly underneath your hips, spread your fingers nice and wide, and the eyes of the elbows are pointing out versus back. Push into that index finger and thumb. So a nice neutral spine here in tabletop and hug that tummy in nice and tight. So belly button to back body. Imagine that belly button being sent back towards the spine. From here, drop your back. We'll do a few cat cows. So come into cow, look up, softening the brows here, and then exhale into cat. So take your time here as we're warming up the spine. Maybe you don't go as deep as we're warming up those muscles. And jaw the heart, banda down. So chin down to chest when you're coming into cat. Pushing the hips towards that forehead. Take your time and pair the breath with your movement. So inhale to look up, scoop the back, the hips, nice long neck. And exhale, chin down to chest, push the hips towards the head. Do a couple more just like that. Nice work, slow and steady. Press into the tops of the feet a little bit to relieve any pressure off your knees. You can always put something under the knees if you're feeling any tension. Another option is to curl the toes if that feels better for you. You always have choice. 
Good, and hold and cat when you're ready. So chin down to chest, draw the heart bond up, push your hips forward, press into those palms. Good, press into the fingertips. And inhale back to that neutral spine, sit in the hips back. So you're back in child's pose. Take two clearing breaths here. So in through the nose and out through the nose or the mouth, whatever serves you best today. So finding ways to unravel, relax, things that will serve you in this practice and things that you can take away off of your mat today. Good, inhale, pull up to all fours again, curl your toes and step back into downward facing dog. Begin to pedal out your heels, press into your index finger and thumb. Your palms are shoulder width distance. Feet or toe heel, hips with distance, and you're just pedaling out those heels nice and slow. Those heels don't need to come all the way down to the mat if you're a little bit tighter in the hamstrings. And then your knees can always remain micro bent. Not up that head, not yes to the beautiful snowy day. And rock that neck back and forth to so a loosening effort in the neck and upper back. Keep the shoulders nice and high to deepen that stretch. And then come into stillness here, spreading the toes, press into the index finger and thumb, and just feel the sensation. Belly button comes back towards that spine again, so really visualize that tight tummy. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale, let something go. Good, look forward and walk your feet to the top of your mat, toe heel your feet together. Inhale, the part way lift, long neck, flat back. Exhale, soften and fold, bend the knees, root to rise, sweep your palms up, come to standing, palms gently touch, and exhale, palms down by your side. Open up and toe heel the feet apart, come into Tadasana Mountain Pose, such a strengthening pose here. And to begin, just roll your shoulders back before we settle into stillness. So palms are nice and open. And then roll those shoulders back and down your spine. Tuck that pelvis slightly, so nice long spine here, and shoulders are melting down away from your ears. Chin is slightly tucked, and just soften the eyes or even close the eyes here. Come back to that intention or mantra you set for yourself. It could be as simple as thank you. It could be a phrase, something that you're working on until you're really honoring that and believing it and feeling that in your bones. So fingers are coming down. See if you can lift all 10 toes off your mat and then exhale, press them down, lift through the arches of your feet. Feel that energy just traveling up both legs as the kneecaps just lift, the thighs are engaged, tummy's nice and tight, and you're almost creating a little shelf to open that heart space. Breathe deeply into your heart and take three more clearing breaths here. Use that breath intentionally today. Good, cultivating that compassion in the heart space. Open the eyes, keep your palms up. And from here, come into the traditional mudra. So you'll just release the index fingers, cross your thumbs, and then press them above the head here. Toe heel your feet together, keep them where they are if you prefer. Keep those legs nice and engaged. Keep the hips square and stacked without bumping them. We'll micro bend to the right and to the left. So we're setting up for half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana, Squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other. A nice open heart space. Chin is slightly tucked, so we're working that neck, the sternocleidomastoid, and the ears down to the shoulders. Good. The more you tuck, the glutes might engage. And inhale, press back up into center, and exhale to the right. Roll the left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. So nice open chest versus diving in. Keep that neck nice and engaged. Stay with your breath. Sometimes when we're trying really hard, our breath just holds. You want to keep that kind of flowing. Good. Use that core. Come back up to center. Nice work. Exhale, release to that left side. Reaching and energizing through the fingertips all the way down to the rooting of the feet. Maintaining a dristy, maintaining that breath, in and out. Keep that flow. 
Good. Inhale, use the core, come back to center. Release that grip, toe heel, the feet apart. Roll those shoulders back. Good. Nice lubrication of the joints and roll the shoulders forward. Sometimes we forget to do that too. And one more to settle back. Roll them back. Inhale, scoop your palms up. Interlace your fingers behind the head. Keep your feet toe heel apart, just with distance. And lift through the kneecaps. Thighs engage, tuck your pelvis, use your core here, and then those interlaced fingers will prevent the head from dropping back. Lean back, go back. Nice, energizing backward bend. Good, this catches your head. Neck stays engaged. Make it a little shake. Those abdominals are really engaged here. Keep those elbows nice and wide, you got it. And inhale, back up to center, beautiful. Swan dive forward, arms are wide. Inhale, partway lift. And exhale, soften, hang on to your elbows, come into ragdoll. We'll hold here for about five to 10 breaths. So really lengthening up that spine, this is a counter pose for that backward bend. It's a nice moon posture here. That hardened diaphragm comes down. Maybe micro bend the knees so your tailbone is just being elevated up towards the ceiling. Even weight on the feet. You're even welcome to sway side by side. So loosen up that neck. Give yourself permission to release. <coughs> in through the nose, in out through the nose or the mouth. Feel that beautiful hamstring stretch. Nice softening of the face, melting in between the brows into your third eye. Take two more. Good. Release the elbows. Inhale to partway lift. Exhale, soften palms come down and flow back into plank position. Release the knees down and keep those toes curled. We'll send those elbows straight back and then release the diaphragm down and come into a cobra. So opening up here, the thighs remain down, hips can be down. And then those arms though, can always be bent as well. But this is too deep for you to lengthen. Curl the toes and then step back into downward facing dog. Shorten your dog by walking your toes towards the wrist. Keep the palms planted and press the palms away from you. Inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up and just begin to curl the ankle outward. Press into the index finger and thumb to release the wrists. Good, feel that beautiful standing leg stretch and lengthen. And then inward roll with the right toe. Keep those hips nice and stacked and square here. Good. And inhale, we're going to draw that right hand to chest plank. Point the toes. Exhale, energize as you send it back. Inhale, draw it in strong tummy. Exhale, send the toes back. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, send it back. Good. One more. Draw it in. And exhale, release. Good. Look forward, step that foot in between your palms and slowly transition your left knee down. Point those left toes behind you and then rise up so you're in low lunge. This knee is protected so you can inch that knee forward towards your toes. Press into the top foot. Pinkies draw in, shoulders stay down. Press the palms together and then release the palms in between the shoulder blades. Breathe into your rhomboids, elbows straight up. Good, slightly tuck that chin so don't drop the head back. Breathe into that left hip flexor. Feel that opening here. Exhale, slowly release those palms down and then you'll toe heel that right foot and angle it to the right. And then slide those left toes back slightly so we're in lizard lunge. You can use a block here or even a book if you don't have access to blocks. You can always use household items and release those forearms down. We're rolling the weight to the outside of that right foot. So it's almost like a half squat. This might be a little triggering as you're opening up those hips. So be mindful of what's best for you today. Breathe and use that breath to guide you. Allow that breath to open parts that are a little bit tighter. Nice, spacious breaths. 
So getting the full benefit of the pose, pairing the breath. With that opening, awareness. Stay with it here. We have about three more breaths. Good. Palms plant down. Release that tool here. If you used to block, toe heel that foot back. And then come back to that low lunge. Lean back. And then exhale, palms down. Send those hips back so you're in partway splits. And from here, you can create a little movement before we settle into stillness. We'll point and flex here. Maybe rock that foot back and forth. Spread those toes nice and wide. Release those toxins. And then keep the knee micro bend if you need. Keep your back flat. Hinge forward and flex those toes back towards the head. We're getting that beautiful hamstring stretch again. Feel that pressure in the heel as you flex the right toes back towards the head. You're hinging forward, using the breath to soften and release, warming up your muscles. Maybe use a block or books on either side to stay a little bit more lifted here if you notice that you're hunching. Good. And exhale, release, flatten out your right foot, flatten out your palms, come back into lunge position, and then send the right toes back. You're in three-legged dog. Exhale, right toes down by the left, and then optional chaturanga dandasana to upward dog or high cobra. Exhale, come into downward dog. Inhale, look forward, walk the feet to the top of your mat, toe heel them together, inhale to partway lift, and exhale to soften. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the palms up, energize the fingers, look up, and exhale, palms down by your side. Good, inhale, sweep your palms up, and exhale, release. Nice clearing breath, toe heel your feet apart, and from here, you'll grab a hold of that right wrist. Roll your shoulders back towards each other, tuck the pelvis slightly, so that lumbar curve can remain soft as well. So squeeze those shoulders towards each other, relax those palms down near the glutes. Good. <coughs> And then from here, just look to the left and just hover that chin over that left shoulder. If you feel any tingling happening, we're just moving energy, so maybe a little bit looser of a grip. Melt your shoulders down. Good, one more breath, strong core. And look forward, relax the palms, stick your palms up. Palms gently touch and palms exhale down by your side. Grab a hold of the left wrist this time. So setting up for success, rooting down through the feet. Feel that energy travel up both legs, into the core, squeeze the shoulders, look to the right this time. So stretching that sternocleidomastoid in the neck. Nice strong core, deep belly breath. Good, stay with that breath, pranayama. And inhale to look forward, relax the palms, unravel, inhale, palms up, and exhale. Good, second set of backward bend. Options here to interlace the fingers like the first set. Another option is to place your palms on your sacrum or come back to that traditional mudra, the cross thumbs and release the index fingers. Just be mindful of the neck, don't drop the head back. Inhale, look forward, exhale, lean back, go back. Almost like a mini truss fall. Keep your core engaged. Moving the spine in different directions, so moving energy. And inhale, come back up to center, swan dive, nice work. Inhale, partway lift. Exhale, soften, bend your knees, slide your right palm underneath your right foot and left palm underneath your left foot. Be sure that those feet or toe heel apart, hips with distance, and then rest your tummy on top of your thighs. Release your forehead down towards your shins. So you're using your palms and feet as anchors. So feeling that compression, feel that pull up into the feet and feel that pressure on the palms. So really great if you're on the computer a lot or on our phones, this is a great wrist stretch. Take a deep breath, release and relax that head a little bit more. 
Give yourself permission to relax and release. Send that tailbone up towards the ceiling. Keep your back flat. Take three spacious breaths. Be patient with your process. So harnessing that patience in the heart center and compassion. We're just observing here, releasing any self-doubt or judgment. Nice, relaxed job. Good. Slowly unravel, release that grip. Inhale, partway lift. And exhale, soften. Press it back into plank position. Good. Nice deep breath here. And little tiny pulses down. So we're bending those elbows just slightly, not as deep as we usually go. Protract that scapula by pressing into those palms as you push up. Good. Couple more here. So elbows straight back. Little tiny mini push-ups. Keep your neck long. Keep your core engaged. Five, four, three, two, and back up to one. Exhale, send your hips back, shorten your dog. Take one clearing breath in through the nose, out through your mouth. Good. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Begin to curl that ankle outward waking up the smaller muscles and tendons feels so good it feels so good all day and when you're ready curl that toe inward <coughs> excuse me good lift those left toes up a little bit more feel that beautiful stretch stacking everything and draw that left knee into chest plank exhale energize send it back Draw it in, strong tummy, exhale, release, let something go. Inhale, draw it in, exhale, send it back. One more. Good, look forward, step it through here, and release. Right knee down, be mindful of that transition. And inhale, sweep your palms up. Chin is slightly tucked, lean back. Little baby backward bend, palms pressed together, release those prayer hands, namaskar in between the shoulder blades. Breathe into the rhomboids to so lift up and energize to the elbows. Notice where you're looking. We call it the dristi, so our eye gaze. Stay with your breath. Good, internal rotation of those thighs for stability. And slowly release, palms down. Toe heel that left foot off to the left and gently slide that right foot back if that's accessible. Use the block here, maybe rest the forearms or push into the palms, stay a little bit more lifted. Roll the weight to the outside of that left foot and remember you're angling those left toes up. Half squat to the left. Stay with your breath. Feel that breath texturize in the back of the throat. Fresh oxygenated blood reaching every fiber in your body, every organ. It's cleansing everything and balancing. We'll stay here for a few more breaths, getting the full benefit of the pose. Notice if things are firing, things are coming up sometimes. These hip openers can be a little bit triggering. So just be patient with that process as much as you can. Come back to your mantra and breath. Something that will keep you present in these longer holds. Two more breaths. Nice work. Release that block if you have one. Toe, heel that foot back. And inhale, sweep your palms up. Exhale, release the palms down. Send your hips back. Point and flex those toes. Keep your back nice and flat here as so we're warming up. Creating a little movement in the ankle, in the Achilles. And then flex those left toes back towards the forehead. Hinge forward. Keep that heart space nice and open so we're not caving in with the shoulders. 
We're really squeezing those shoulder blades towards each other, hinging forward, softening and opening this left leg. Maybe spread those toes, release the toxins. You give yourself permission to release a little bit more. Good. Two more breaths on this side, babies. Full inhale, full exhale. And flatten up that foot, sweep your palms up. And energize with the fingers, send those fingers down, pop up here. So you're in lunge, send the left toe back to your back in that three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot down by the right. Optional chaturanga dandasana to upward dog or high cobra. And exhale, downward dog. You can always just come right into those downward dog with this too much on your shoulders. Take a clearing breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale, out the mouth. One more. Good. So it's that throaty breath there. Toe heel, or excuse me, walk your palms back towards the toes and then toe heel your feet apart. Come into a squat position, malasana. You can always come onto a block or a cushion. That tailbone's going straight down this time. So great for digestion here. Breathe and open into your hips. So that's how we did those lizard lunges. So we could set up for this deep hip opener, malasana. See if you can lift that left heel up and exhale, send it down. Inhale, right heel up and exhale, send it down. See if you can inhale both heels up and exhale, release. And listen to your body. You can always skip those if you feel better just planting the feet down. And it's okay if those heels are lifted as well just depending on where your body is at today. Exhale, release those palms down and just do a little curl lean. So lean forward slightly, rock and open the hips, lean to the left and to the right, and back up to center, toe heel your feet together. Inhale, partway lift, exhale, soften, root to rise, sweep your palms up and sit down, chair Utkatasana. Nice, deep, spacious breath. So send the weight back towards the heels. See if you can lift your toes up. Keep your palms high near the ears, or you can also parallel the arms. Spread your fingers or keep them pressed together. Nice, mula bandha. So we're engaging that lower root chakra. Keep your heart space nice and open here. Keep your shoulders melted down. If those arms are parallel. We're engaging that core here. Inhale, lift the palms up by the ears if they're not there already. Thumbs back. And exhale, release the palms down. Inhale, sweep your palms up. And exhale back. Good. A couple more just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Hold here. Walk your shoulders in towards each other. So nice lightning arms. Neck stays nice and long. And then we'll pulse up with our pinkies for five, four, three, two, rise up on one. Deep inhale, little backward bend. Exhale, palms down by your side. Good. From here, we'll move into King Dancer. So we'll open up that right palm, bend the right knee, catch the inside of your right foot. Lock out that left knee if that's accessible to you, and then release that left palm like you're shaking someone's hand. Thumb up towards the sky. And then from here, we'll kick back, lean forward, diaphragm down. If you fall out, that's okay. So we're just working on that balance. Maybe use some of the wall space to support you. Sometimes it's nice to slide your foot back like I am, and that helps support as I fall out. <laughs> And slowly release. If you're having a breakthrough, hold there. Take a clearing breath. Inhale, palms rise. Exhale, palms down. Good. Open up the left palm. Bend that left knee slightly. Catch the inside of that left foot. So the thumb is towards the big toe. Release your right palm out like you're about to shake someone's hand. Kick back and come down with the chest. So opening up that left side. Roll that shoulder back. Stay rooted in your feet. 
Toes rise behind the head. And exhale. Release. Take a clearing breath. Nice work. Exhale. Very good. We'll do a couple more balancing postures here, which sometimes aren't people's favorites, but so good for your brain. So from here, we'll bend that right knee again, and then we'll just slide that foot up. So options here, coming into tree pose. You really want to block up that left knee if you can. Keep that right foot away from your knee, so your right foot can be on the top of the inner thigh or below that knee inside that lower leg. Another option is to hold that foot and nuzzle that right foot into the left hip flexor. You can hold here or you can feel that compression and then find a place for your palms once you find a home for your foot. So maybe your branches are nice and wide and spacious, or a dancing tree in the wind, or maybe you're coming into Samasiti prayer hands. If you're in prayer hands, be sure to press those palms together. Nice rooting of the foot. So maintaining a dristy, maybe play with closing the eyes, which is a little bit more challenging to balance. And stay with your breath. Keep holding here for about three more breaths. Good, and slowly relax, transition out. Take a clearing breath. Exhale. That just reminds us to keep that prana flowing, bend that left knee, and up with that left foot. So anything you did on that right side, we're balancing and mirroring on the left side. And sometimes balance might look a little bit different, so do what's right for you. Palms, find a home. This time your branches can be where you wish, so it doesn't necessarily have to mirror what you did on the other side. Nice deep breath. And maybe you're a little bit more balanced on one side versus the other. So that gives us the opportunity to just really notice what's coming up and how we feel on both sides of our body. Just balancing out our nervous systems. Take two more breaths. Stay with it, you got it. And release, nice work, clear it out. Exhale, inhale, and swan dive forward, press it back to your plank position. Hold here, micro bend, five, four, or you can always hold in stillness, three, two, and press up on one, optional chaturanga. You can always skip those to upward dog or high cobra. Exhale, roll it back. Inhale, shorten your dog and release that right foot up. Look forward, step it through, and then come right up into crescent. That back heel is going straight up. Angela rotation of those thighs for stability strong or stack that right knee directly over the right ankle. Lean back slightly. Good. And exhale, hinge forward. Pulses for five, four. Supercharge that back leg. Three, two, and one. Good. Swan dive forward with both palms. From here, we're going to lift that left leg up. Straighten up that right knee. Forehead comes down towards the right knee. Lift those left toes up. And exhale down, rise back up into crescent. Good. Hinge forward, right arm forward, left arm back. Left arm forward, right arm back. And circle to open your warrior two. Look directly over those right fingertips. Palms remain a little bit higher than the shoulders. Rock your hips forward, stack those knees. Lean forward, flip your palm, send the right palm back. Keep that knee nice and bent. Sometimes that knee tends to follow. And look up to the side or down. Roll the weight to the outside of that back left foot. Inhale, keep that flow for your two. Lean forward and stack those elbows, wrists, shoulders. 
extended side angle. Press that forearm on the inside of that right knee. Again, be mindful of your neck. If you're looking up, slightly tuck that chin. Inhale, rock it up. Lengthen out the right knee. Swivel on the right toes, so pointing the toes forward. Palms remain nice and wide. Airplane arms and hinge forward, come down flat back. So you're in wide leg forward fold. From here, maybe you toe heel your feet apart a little bit more. And then you're rocking the weight into your toes. Option to interlace your fingers on the sacrum and then press those palms up for a deep heart, heart opener. Stay with your breath here. You're in control of your breath. Three more breaths. Good. Inhale to partway lift. Tend your fingers in front of you or keep that left palm flat in the middle of both legs. And then just open up that right arm here. Look up to the side or down, whatever feels best on your neck. We're stacking those shoulders again, energizing through those right fingertips. Good, exhale, release that right palm down, spread the fingers and open up to that left side twist. So ringing out the spine, ringing out the toxins, making room for what serves us. Letting go of anything that's no longer serving us, allowing it to dissipate as we exhale it out. Exhale, release that left palm down, partway lift, come out opposite way you came in, thumbs up towards the ceiling, toe heel the feet slightly together, point the toes forward, and warrior two to the right. Cartwheel your arms, release that right leg back. <clears throat> Optional chaturanga dandasana to upward facing dog or high cobra. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Exhale, roll it back. Downward facing dog if you're not there already. And press those toes towards the wrist a little bit more. And press into the palms. Take two clearing breaths. In through the nose <clears throat> and out through the mouth. Good. Inhale, look forward. Hop or walk the feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, partway lift. Exhale, soften, root to rise, sweep your palms up, look up to your palms, and exhale them down. Inhale, sweep your palms up, and sit down chair, Ukatasana. Nice, deep, spacious breaths. Good. Relax the palms back, lightening arms, walk those shoulder blades in, keep those shoulders down, melted away from your ears, pulse it out. See if you can lift your toes, chest stays lifted, rock the weight into your heels, five. Four, three, two, rise up on one. Exhale it down. Good. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, swan dive. Heart weight lift. Exhale, palms down. Keep that flow. Step the right and left legs back. Good. Micro bend or hold in stillness. You can always relax those knees down. Five. Four, three, two, and up on one. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Look forward, step it through. Rise up into crescent. Lean back. Feel that sensation here. Nice, deep, spacious breaths. Exhale down. Good. Pulses here for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, palms come down and step up on that left leg. Lengthen up that left knee. Point those toes, right toes up. Standing splits here. And tap those right toes back up into crescent. Hinge forward here. Left arm forward, right arm back. Right arm forward, left arm back. Circle to open, you're in warrior two. Maybe widen that stance a little bit, stack your knees, lean forward, flip your palm, and send it back, reach. Be mindful of your neck. 
Keep the left knee bent and stacked over that left ankle. Inhale, warrior two, rock it forward, extended side. Nice opening of that right side. Breathe into this space. Keep everything nice and stacked. Inhale, back up. Lengthen up the left knee. Pivot on the left toes. And come down, flat back. Rock the weight into your feet. Find a space for those palms. And breathe deeply. Know you're exactly where you need to be. Eyes open or close. Hold here for about five more breaths. Breathe in, into those inner thighs. Breathe into the quads. Good, inhale to partway lift. Toe heel to feet in slightly and then angle the right toes to the right, angle the left toes to the left. Relax those palms out. Airplane arms come up flat back. From here, we'll do skater to the right. So leaning and hinging over that right knee, flat back. Palms are extended out. Inhale back to center and transition to the left. Hover over the left knee. Inhale back to center, over to the right. And center, skater to the left. Rise up all the way to standing, thumbs up. Warrior two to the front, cartwheel the arms, release the left leg back. Optional chaturanga to upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, hinge forward, come to plank, come all the way down to your tummy, left ear to the mat, looking right. Palms down by your side, toes touch. Melt into your mat, slow your heart rate. Getting a beautiful neck stretch here. So we really open that sternocleidomastoid today. <clears throat> Take about three to five more breaths here. So relax deep into your mat. Send the breath to the back of the neck shoulders, mid back and lower back, and down each leg. Feel that wave of breath travel back up and back down, cleansing and balancing. Good. Inhale, release those forearms down, stay lifted in the head and the chest. And from here, we'll just bend the knees and then just micro bend, windshield wiper of the feet to the left and to the right, stay lifted in your chest, squeeze those shoulders towards each other. Good. Inhale, come back to center, point the toes straight up, keeping everything nice and stacked. And if this is accessible, you can use a belt too, if you have a belt or a strap to catch the insides of the feet or over the feet here, pointing those thumbs towards the toes, setting up for floor bow. So look up, take a deep inhale, kick back, lift up into the chest, find stillness here, kick, kick, kick. Nice deep car opener, elevate your eye gaze, elevate your thoughts, look up. Good, slowly transition out. Really important for that transition. Right ear to the mat, looking left, other side. Toes touch, palms down by your side. Eyes can be open or shut. Slow your heart rate. So keeping that blood pumping. Great immune booster here.
And take three more breaths on this side. Trying to quiet those thoughts. Come back to your mantra. Good, and inhale, come back to center. Keep that mouth down and then extend both arms off to the sides of the body. So airplane arms, palms remain flat and down towards the floor. Toe heel your feet apart to the corners of the mat. So you're pointing your toes to the corners and setting up for Vimana pose. Inhale, lift the head, lift the chest, the palms and feet. Keep your neck nice and lengthened here. So maybe look forward with the eyes, but don't send that head back. Lift, 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 squeeze the shoulders, spread the fingers, point the toes and lift the heels. Turning on the glutes. Good, from here, extend the palms in front of you, point the toes directly behind you and paddle out the heels and the palms. For nice little swimmers, keep your neck long. For five, four, three, two and hold up on one lift and reach back with the palms lift the chest back lean forward reach exhale back one more reach forward and back good melt down on your mat left ear of the mat looking right it's a beautiful neck stretch Three more breaths on this side, yogis. Nice work. Feels so good all day. And right ear to the mat, looking left, balancing both sides. And inhale, come back to center. Point the toes to the corners of your mat and come up on both forearms, setting up for Sphinx pose. So right here, my hips are down, but you can also engage your core. That feels better to you, more accessible today. And then roll your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulders together. Press into your forearms so you feel that compression, planting the forearms down in the palms. Press into each fingertip. And then exhale, just allow gravity to support you as you hang your head down. Maybe rock your head slowly to the left and to the right. Be gentle with your neck. And breathe. Come back to stillness here. So soften in between your brows. Relax your jaw. Breathe into both ears into the back of your throat, into the crown of the head, and inhale to look up, lift the crown. Good, from here, curl your toes, and then lift that tailbone straight up, curl your toes, and then walk both palms out, relaxing the arms and lengthening them, extending them in front of you. That chin can be down or forehead can be down, coming into heart opener or puppy pose. Wagging that tail up. Everyone meeting in child's pose when you're ready. And relax. Send the hips back. Knees can be wider together. Palms can be extended. <clears throat> or palms down by your side, excuse me. Take three more breaths. It's so great for your back. 
And that compression on top of the thighs just allows us to normalize our heart rate. Good, when you're ready, slowly round all the way up to a seated position. So easy seat, sitting on the knees, if that's accessible, or on a block, that feels a little bit better. Sometimes it's nice to just sit on top of a block or right, place the block in between the thighs. From here, we'll inhale, lift the palms up. Exhale, palms down. Good, walk the right palms out to the right, roll your right shoulder back, tent the fingers here, so press into each fingertip, and then left arm travels up and over towards the right. Roll that shoulder back and down. Good, away from the ears, keep that chin nice and tucked. So nice lengthening of the neck, reaching and energizing through those left fingertips. Good, bend that elbow slightly, so reach the left fingertips in between the shoulder blades. Use the core, rise up, lengthen, and extend the palms. Palms gently touch together and exhale down by your sides. Good, from here, walk the left palms off to the left. Roll that left shoulder back and down, so we're locking that out. Inhale, right arm up and over. Nice deep breath here. Strong tummy, strong core. Rooting down to the sits bones. Feeling that nice opening, so getting out of that linear posture. And when you're ready, rest those right fingertips in between the shoulder blades, reaching and energizing through the elbow, getting into the triceps and biceps. And use the core, extend both palms up, gently touch, exhale. Good. From here, hold all four fingers over each thumb. So we're working on that clearing out the gut here, which is great for the brain as well. And then inch those knees towards each other a little bit more. Walk those elbows in towards your rib cage, jaw to harabandha. So chin lock, chin down to your chest, and then we're going to hinge forward, inching down, and forehead coming towards the knee. So you can hover that forehead here, or if it feels good, you can even rest, gent gently rest on the crown of the head. So those palms and fists are nuzzled in towards the navel cavity. So massaging the, the organs and cleansing the gut. Take two to three more breaths. And that jaw to her bond is so wonderful for our thyroid and parathyroid. So we're balancing out hormones at the same time. At the top of the next inhale, rise, slowly unravel each vertebrae and release, clear it out. Exhale. Good, remove the block if you have one and then come all the way down onto your backs. Hooray. And then walk those shoulders in towards each other. Slightly tuck your chin. Palms are open. Take one breath in Shavasana. Good. And then begin to walk those heels towards the glutes. And then just allow your knees to fall to the right and to the left. Pressing your feet and sandwiching them together. One hand on the heart, one hand on the navel, whichever feels best for you, right or left. Keep that chin nice and tight, so you're lengthening out the neck and the spine. And then hold here for about three breaths in Supta Baddha Konasana. Keep your eyes soft. Relax your jaw. Feel that cradling of the head. Clearing out your brain. Feeling that love and peace in your heart. And feeling that travel and pump throughout the entire body. time of giving, but also important to receive. So receive that self-love, that self-care. Good, and switch your palms, opposite palm on the heart and the navel. Hold here for three breaths. Notice the sensations coming up.
Good. When you're ready, release the palms, the outside of the knees, and close the knees like a book. Toe heel your feet to the edges of your mat and allow your knees to be tented and just fall towards each other. Palms can come onto the tummy here, or you can also cactus the arms, keeping that heart space nice and open and spacious. Slowing the breath, steadying the heart rate. Feeling at peace. It's radiating that positive energy. And when you're ready, relax both legs up and over the hips. Maybe curl the ankles or give them a nice shake. You can also hold in stillness. That feels best for you. So get that lymphatic drainage. Keep your palms nice and open to the sides of the body. And next transition, we'll fold the knees into your chest. Rock side by side if you need a little back massage today. In normal natural breathing, really important in this pose, as I always mention, come back into stillness and hold below the patella, tuck the chin, walk the elbows in towards the sides of your body. And maybe you're holding onto the elbows if that's accessible to you, but try to keep that back as flat as you can. So press your sacrum down into your mouth. Lift the diaphragm up so you're getting that beautiful postural support today. Good, and relax both legs down. Inhale, right leg up, bend the right knee, interlace the fingers below the right knee, walk the shoulders in towards each other, tuck the chin, and then just hug that right knee in. Maybe you're inching that right knee over to the left or to the right a little bit, so we're finding that sweet spot in our body where we're getting that beautiful stretch. And maybe you don't feel too much here, and that's, that's okay too. So oftentimes we think we need to feel something for it to be beneficial, but that's not always true in every case. So just to find a spot where you're comfortable and breathe and hold. Two more relaxing breaths. Feels so nice. Beautiful, extend that right leg down on your mat. Inhale, left leg up, interlace the fingers below that left knee. And again, maintain that flat back. Steady that knee where it feels comfortable or beneficial. Sometimes our poses aren't always comfortable either, <laughs> but this one should be pretty good. Three more breaths on the side. So shifting deeper into that dreamy state as we shift and transition into meditation. And extend and release that left leg down. And we're going to just transition into our favorite Shavasana pose. So it could be laying down or seated. You can even rest your legs on a wall. So getting more of that lymphatic drainage. And just settle the eyes if you need an eye bath meditation like we often do sometimes before settling into Shavasana. You're welcome to rub the palms rapidly together as you're laying down. And then just create little caves over the eyelids. Allow your eyes to sink deeper into their sockets. We're clearing out the brain of any additional energy that we don't need anymore. And then just releasing on that exhale, allowing it to dissipate into the space. Making room for newness, for transformation, for love, compassion, all the things that will serve you today and every day. And then begin to imagine that wave of breath traveling to different parts of the body. So imaging the brows, back of the throat, 
into the heart, your shoulders, down both arms. Feel that safe, relaxing space in the core, your hips, down both legs in the center of the left and right feet, and down into the toes and up again, cleansing and relaxing. Holding a meditation, allowing silence to encompass your space. And holding here as long as you wish in meditation. Thank you all for being here today. Namaste.